So I've been seeing these backyard renovation time-lapse videos absolutely blowing up everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, we're talking millions of views on these things. And the best part? Few people are making these types of videos, which means less saturation for the niche. I noticed some of you in my Telegram community asking how to create content like this, so I decided to dive in and figure it out myself. And honestly, I was shocked at how easy it is. Check out this video I just made in under 10 minutes using 100% free AI tools. Pretty incredible, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. This must be complicated or I need expensive software. Nope. I'm gonna walk you through every single step and trust me, if I can do this, anyone can. No prior experience needed. Before we jump in, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and smash the like if you wanna see more tutorials like this. Your support really helps the channel grow. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is find a photo of a room or house that's already been completely renovated and looks absolutely stunning. Now, for this, we're going to head over to Pinterest, which is an absolute gold mine for high quality images. If you've never used Pinterest before, don't worry at all. I'll drop the link down in the description below so you can easily access it and start downloading photos completely free of charge. Once you're on Pinterest, you'll see a search box right at the top of the page. This is where the magic happens. You can literally type in keywords for whatever type of image you're looking for. Want garden photos? Type it in. Looking for cozy living room interiors, modern bedroom designs, or luxurious villa exteriors? It's all there, and honestly, the quality of these photos is incredible. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to search for backyard interiors because we're focusing on outdoor transformations. Now, as you can see on my screen, there are tons and tons of gorgeous interior and exterior images just waiting for us, right? The variety is really impressive. When you find an image that catches your eye and you think, yes, this is the one, downloading it is super simple. Just click on those three little dots you see in the corner of the image, and from the drop-down menu that appears, select Download Image. And boom, you've got your base photo ready to go. Now we move on to step two. Once you've got your image safely downloaded, we're going to access a platform called Google Flow, which uses the VEO3 model that pretty much everyone in the AI content creation space is buzzing about right now. The great news is that you can sign up completely free using your Gmail account, and when you do, they'll actually give you free credits to experiment with and try out the platform. And hey, if you want even more access, I've actually made previous videos showing you how to get VEO3 accounts with credits that last for an entire year. So definitely check those out if you're interested in going deeper with this tool. Now here's something that many of you probably don't know yet. Google Flow has actually integrated an AI image generator called Nano Banana Pro directly into their platform, which is fantastic for what we're trying to accomplish. So what you'll do is select the image generation model from the options available and then click on that little plus sign you see there to upload the image you just downloaded from Pinterest. Make sure you convert the image format to JPG or PNG using free converters online. Before we go any further, this is really important. Make sure you switch the aspect ratio setting to vertical. This is crucial because we're creating content for platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts which all use vertical video formats. Don't skip this step. Now comes the fun part. You're going to enter a simple prompt, and I really mean simple, nothing complicated here. Type something like this. Create an image of this room for me before it was finished. No furniture, raw room, and unpainted. You're basically asking the AI to reverse engineer the renovation and show you what this space looked like when it was just bare bones. After you've typed that in, Go ahead and click Generate Image, and then just give it a few moments to work its magic. And there we go. Here's the image of the room in its unfinished state, guys. Pretty amazing how realistic it looks, right? 
but we're not done yet. Next up, we need to generate another image, this time of the finished room, but still without any furniture and flowers in it. It's like an intermediate stage between completely raw and fully decorated. So select that original image again and enter a new request for this middle stage. Perfect. So now we've successfully created two absolutely essential images for our time-lapse transformation. Notice how my prompts were really straightforward and simple? You don't. Need to be some kind of prompt engineering expert to get great results here. And when you're happy with your images, saving them is easy. Just click this download button right here. You can even choose a resolution that goes all the way up to 4K if you want maximum quality for your final video. All right, moving on to step three, which is where everything really comes together, creating the actual video. For this part, you'll need to select the Video Generation from Frames model from the options in Google Flow. In the first frame box, you're going to upload the image of the unfinished room, that bare, raw space we generated earlier. Then, in the second frame box, upload the image of the finished room without furniture, that intermediate stage we created. After both images are in place, you'll enter a prompt that describes the transformation you want to see happen between these two frames. Once you hit enter after typing your prompt, the interface will automatically switch over to the video generation screen, where the AI starts working on creating your time-lapse animation. All right, the video is finished rendering. Let's take a look at what we've got here and see how it turned out. Wow, it's actually quite impressive, isn't it? The transformation flows really smoothly. Now, if for some reason you're not completely satisfied with the result, maybe the transition isn't as smooth as you'd like or something just feels off, don't stress about it. You can simply click the Generate button to generate a new version, or you can go back and tweak your prompt to be more specific about what you want to see. Now we're going to continue this process by creating one more video segment. This time, the first frame will be that finished room without furniture that we used in the last step, and the final frame will be the image of the fully completed, beautifully decorated room with all the furniture and finishing touches in place. This creates that final wow moment where everything comes together. Then you'll enter another prompt describing this final transformation stage. And here we have our second video segment. Let's watch it together and see how this transformation turned out. Wow, that's really captivating, isn't it? The way the furniture and decorative elements just appear and bring the whole space to life is genuinely mesmerizing. But we're not quite finished yet. To truly complete this viral-worthy time-lapse, we need to create one more clip that really seals the deal and adds that extra polish to the final product. For this last segment, you're going to use that image of the completely finished house, the one with all the beautiful furniture, decorations, and finishing touches in place. Then, you'll use a simple prompt something like this to add some dynamic movement or a final reveal effect that makes the ending really satisfying and professional looking. Alright, so once you've finished generating all of your video clips and you're happy with how each transformation looks, it's time to select the best versions to download. Sometimes the AI might give you multiple options, or you might have re-rendered certain segments, so just choose whichever ones look the smoothest and most realistic to your eye. Now comes the editing phase, where we bring everything together. Take all of your downloaded video clips and import them into your video editing software. I personally recommend using either CapCut or Filmora. Both are excellent options and it really just depends on which one you're more comfortable with or have access to. Once all your clips are imported, arrange them in the proper chronological order, starting from that raw, unfinished room, moving through the construction and finishing phases, then adding the furniture, and finally ending with that polished final reveal. Make sure the transitions flow smoothly from one clip to the next, so the whole transformation feels seamless and natural. You can also add some background music if you want. Something upbeat and satisfying really helps these types of videos perform well on social media. 
Many time-lapse videos use royalty-free music from CapCut Audio Library or YouTube's audio library to avoid copyright issues. After you're satisfied with how everything looks and flows together, go ahead and export your video. Make sure you're exporting in the vertical format we set up earlier and try to maintain the highest quality possible. Platforms like TikTok and Instagram really favor high-resolution content. And just like that, in literally only 5 to 10 minutes of actual work, you've created a professional-looking renovation time-lapse video that has the potential to rack up millions of views. I'm not exaggerating when I say these types of videos are absolutely crushing it right now on social media. People are obsessed with transformation content, and the AI makes it so accessible that anyone can create it. I really genuinely hope that this guide helps you create those million view videos you've been dreaming about. Who knows, your video might be the next one to blow up and go viral. If you found this tutorial helpful and you're excited to try this out for yourself, please show some love by hitting that like button and dropping a comment below. Let me know what kind of renovation you're planning to create, or if you have any questions about the process. I read every single comment and I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.